Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace be upon you. My name is Lemya Ali Muhammad, and today we will be presenting to you a poem entitled Freedom. Let's begin. They set us freedom and we buy their chains. We think we become free, but our remains the same. The game never came. In fact, the chains are getting tighter. Because covering up is not okay. They tell me that I'm free, so I shouldn't dress this way. But see, here's the contradiction. We don't perceive freedom the same. Good when you label freedom and tell me my wardrobe has to change, you are taking away my freedom, and only your freedom remains. Well, that's not fair. I'll let you in on a little secret. You are enslaved as well. And by whom, you ask me? Well, that is easy for me to tell. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the biggest slave of them all? <laughs> it's not me. Don't get me wrong. I have emotions and desires, too. I fall in love. I get angry. I make mistakes just like you do. But my ego is not my master. I don't control or manipulate. I have ups and downs just like every other soul. But I rely on my faith. Why should I stop covering up for you to feel safe? Don't blame it on me that the media are your masters and you are their slaves. You believe in every word they tell you. Then it turns around and you see me. Oh wait, you don't, you don't actually see me. You see my jabby. All these opinions, bans, and restrictions are really, really starting to get to me. So here's what we've got to do in order for everyone to be happy and free, including me. How about we lay down our weapons and stop being defensive? How about we voice our opinions and stop being offensive? You wear your skin jeans, that's fine by me. And let me match my scarf with my skirt perfectly. You want to party on the hall? Well, I prefer talking to God at night. We can do chit chat at school, no need to fuss and fight. I come in peace, really. There's no need to disrespect me. I wear what I wear freely, so could you please just let me? Oh yeah, and the hijabi I wear, the way I understand it, is not simply just a piece of fabric treading over me to cover my hair. But it's something that represents me and my Islam. And to me, being a Muslim means being a good person. Because I would never ask you to kill or, or to slay, or, or to lie five times, times a day. But I will ask you to treat the people who treat you bitter, better. And to smile almost every person that walks past you. Thank you.